So hi, I'm Blaine from Clearview Stable. This is my little buddy Cooper. Today we're going to show you how to bridle. First thing we're going to do is unhook our cross ties and we have them here in the halter. The reins come up over his head. Next thing we're going to do, undo the halter, slide it off over his ears. We try to make sure all our stuff gets hung up so it doesn't get down around his feet. Now the reins are here just in case he decides to wander off so we can keep track of them. When we go to bridle and we want to pull all of our extraneous straps out of the way here and get a hold of these two side pieces. These are the cheek pieces of the bridle. We're going to put those in our right hand. Bring our right hand up over the outside of his nose so it rests on the bridge right here. Left hand comes up and takes a hold of the bit and guides it up to his mouth. Our left thumb, if he doesn't open his mouth, we can use that to put a little pressure here where there's no teeth in his mouth on the diastema. And then slide the bit up in and raise our right hand so that it keeps the pressure on the bit so it doesn't slide down out. Left hand's going to come up and take a hold of the top of the bridle right now. Just even things up a little bit and then our right hand can go ahead and lay his ear in under and again push that ear in under. I try to do it without folding their ears in half. It tends to upset them less. And then we're just going to take our cavus in here, slide it underneath the cheek pieces and then we'll give everything a little wiggle to make sure it's even. And then we're going to take even up our brow band, and then this strap here is called the throat latch. Throat latch, we're going to bring it up under his jaw. He's going to go looking for treats. And we want to make this so it's tight enough that if he gets his head down, he couldn't get a foot in it, but um, not so tight that it chokes him out when he goes to close, his, uh, close at this joint right here. Three to four fingers between the throat and the throat latch is plenty of space. You want to just make sure to put your... Uh, ends of your straps into your keepers. This helps you look professional. Next thing we do is the cavison. Now depending on the level of work you're doing, we'll kind of decide the tightness. For general use, for horses that aren't really strong or not doing really collected work, I tend to tighten this up to where I can get two to three of my fingers this way between it and the horse's jaw so they can still grind their teeth and move their jaw a little bit, but not get it all the way open so that they can pop the bit off the sensitive part of their jaw up into the softer, less sensitive parts of the lips here. And that is how we put on the bridle.